A new day, yet the same awful problem inside the Oklahoma County Jail. News 4 now hearing from another recent inmate about her battle against bed bugs inside the jail. And this comes one day after all of the juveniles were removed from that facility. Here's News 4's Jessica Bruno with more. This is the second person I've talked to over the past few weeks that bonded out of the jail, just covered head to toe in bed bug bites. And I'm told a new plan to combat the bed bug problem that we first told you about over a month ago is still in the works. They're about the size of a dime. That was back on July 14th when Michael Stang contacted News 4 about these large bed bug bites now covering his body after a recent stay inside the Oklahoma County Jail. I couldn't even get in the vehicle to be picked up. And now another call to our newsroom with the same story. This one from Nikesha Williamson. How many bites do you think you have? It looks like over 10. Yes, a lot of How are you feeling now? Uh, feeling kind of itchy and irky. Earlier this month, the State Department of Health sending this letter to the jail following a recent inspection, barring them from housing juveniles due to a long list of repeat deficiencies. Now, juveniles charged with less serious crimes were immediately removed. And then on Monday, the jail announcing the remaining 11 juveniles, all charged with murder one, were transferred to the Pawnee County Detention Center. Following this administrative order by Judge Ray Elliott, it reads, from here on out, juveniles charged with first-degree murder shall be initially processed at the Oklahoma County Detention Center and then housed in a facility with whom the Oklahoma County Jail Trust Authority has contracted, which is Pawnee County. We asked administrators at the Oklahoma County Jail for an interview about that and an update on their ongoing battle against what OSDH called a bed bug infestation, specifically wanting to know when they'll be breaking ground on a new building out back where they'll apply extreme heat to bed bug covered items. And they declined to speak with us on camera. It was so nasty, it was pathetic. I wouldn't really want my enemy to be in that place. At the Oklahoma County Jail, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Jessica, thank you. Now, Oklahoma County is paying $45 per day per juvenile inmate to Pawnee County to house them there. We'll be getting a tour of their facility tomorrow.